sounds too robotic. It doesn't sound enough like, well, I'm a human. Well, I'm going to show you a simple command that you can use in ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, virtually any AI language model to help make your content sound more like you. And it's a simple one word command. The command, it's simple. It's called humanize. And watch what happens when we do that. We're going to ask Claude here. We can do the same thing in ChatGPT, but what happens or how do you change the way you write content when I give you the command and I'm going to put it in square brackets just so that it's easy for us to see humanize. So let's ask it. Let's not trust that it works. Let's go ahead and ask and see what happens. And we're going to see here, it aims to be direct. It doesn't have any special humanized command or processing mode that changes communication style. And that's important. This is something that's inferred, but it engages more naturally and authentically while adapting the communication style to what's most helpful for the context and the human that it's talking with, or in this case, many times the target audience. So it's really simple to do this. Now, Claude says that there are other things you can do, like giving it, setting your preferences and that type of stuff, but humanize is a simple way to do this on any prompt. And what I want to do is show you what I recently did here. Let me move my picture out of the way here. I did this this morning on my mobile phone and I want to show you how this works so incredibly well. So I went in and I found this amazing PDF uh, and it talked about how in, from MIT it was talking about how in the process of evaluating how scientists at MIT are working with AI, how AI is able to save them a tremendous amount of time. But the main point of the article was that it was a collaborative effort. It wasn't just scientists turning everything over to AI. And to me, this really resonated with how important it is that AI and humans collaborate. But when I wrote this, I wanted to get some, some value out of this that, that didn't sound so robotic. So what I did is I uploaded the PDF of the report. And as you can see, I had it review the reporting and grab some key takeaways. Once it did that, I then said that I wanted to create an engaging and informative Facebook posts about each one of these. And that's simple. I gave it my tone and style. So it knows a little bit about me here. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, by the way, that's my self scribe program that teaches you to do how to do that. I can give you more details later. Uh, but then I said this, I just added this simple thing after writing your first draft, then rewrite and humanize the post content. So basically what I'm instructing it to do is take the key takeaways that it gave me up here. It gave me five of them. And then I want it to go ahead and write an engaging and informative Facebook post. And then I want it to go ahead and write the first draft and then humanize it. And I want to show you what happened here. So here's the first point. It took the first point that we had out of our key takeaways and it wrote a first draft. So fascinating research on AI's impact. And this is all good, but it sounds kind of robotic. And then notice it came continued and it wrote a humanized version of this. And the difference is really, it is mind blowing. It talks about mind blowing here, but it really is. So imagine starting off with fascinating research on AI's impact and scientific lab shows. It's not replacing top talent. It's supercharging them as opposed to just read a mind blowing study that challenges everything we hear about AI leveling the playing field. And you guys can compare these if you want You take a look and you can see here, there's a significant difference. And I find that the humanized version, this part right here, I'll highlight it, is far more readable and understandable than the top version. And I continued on through this. I did this with step two. So then I said, take the second key takeaway that it gave me that did the first draft and then it wrote the second. And I want to point out here, notice how I asked Claude in this particular case to write both of them in one prompt. And the reason I did that is Claude in particular really counts how much content it's creating for you. And the, the, the more you can combine things, the, the more usage you get. Multiple prompts will run into your caps a little bit sooner. So I combined these and Claude has no problem doing both. So it wrote the first version and then it wrote the humanized version. You can see right there. Again, much more easily read and much more relevant. It even talks about what did that mean? So the humanized version opens with more personal insight. It uses metaphor to make the concept relatable. It adds practical context. It shares personal experience. It poses thought provoking questions. It maintains credibility while being conversational and it uses is emotive language like blew my mind. So you could obviously edit that and I always want you to encourage you to do that, but this can be so incredibly beneficial. 
The other thing you can do is you can actually use this on existing content that you've already written. So let's go ahead and let's pop out to my website here real quick a minute. I'm going to go and grab a blog post here real quick. So I'm just out here. It doesn't really matter which one I grab. So let's see. This one's about intelligent customer retention for business growth. So I'm just going to copy this URL. And this time, let's go over into ChatGPT. Most of you are probably familiar. ChatGPT has recently added in the search capability. I can click on that by clicking here. And I'll say, please read and humanize this blog post. That's it. So notice it just humanize it. I'm not, not giving it a ton of directions and it's now going to go out and scour that and it's going to rewrite it for me. Now it's going to be shorter because it's humanized and this is a relatively long blog post. If we take a look, it's got quite a bit of stuff in here. There's a lot of information and it's good information. Don't get me wrong, but if I want to make it more human relatable, easier to read, I'm going to go ahead and I can do this and you can see it did a great job of kind of summarizing that. Now, another tool that you can use to do this, if you say, I don't really like the way Humanize does it, you may have heard of something called Hemingway Rules and Humanize is similar, but I think I prefer Humanize them anyway. So how about the same article using Hemingway Rules? And I'll explain to you in a moment what Hemingway rules mean so you can decide what's the best fit for you. And you'll notice now it's going to go ahead and it's going to write this. And let's say, so we started under Hemingway's rules with in today's competitive business landscape, retaining customers is crucial for growth. How did it start it when we humanized it? In today's fast based business world, keeping your customers happy isn't just a nice to have, it's essential for growth. Again, my personal preference, I prefer the humanize a little bit, but both of these work really well. And we could even combine them when we wanted and say, let's do one more combining humanize and Hemingway rules. And now it's going to take that same article and it's going to go ahead and rewrite the thing using both of them. So again, I'm not going to take the time to go through this, but I do want to take just a moment and have AI explain to you what's happening here. So let's go ahead and create a new chat and say, when I tell you to humanize content, what do you do? So one of the things I love about AI is if you're not sure, maybe you read something in my Facebook group or elsewhere of a tip on how to prompt, you can literally go in and you can just ask ChatGPT, what's this going to do for you? And here it talks about it's going to make it conversational. It's going to inject empathy and relatability. It's going to add storytelling. It's going to add humor. It's going to add address the reader directly, highlight real world applications, use short, varied sentence and paragraphs. Now let's say how, if I can type, there we go. How does this compare? to using the command Hemingway rules. And now let's again, let's ask ChatGPT to tell us how it compares them. So Hemingway rules and humanizing content share some overlap, but target different aspects of the writing style. Here's how they compare. Hemingway rule style focus on simplicity, clarity, and brevity. It's very true. That's exactly what happens. So shorter sentences, avoiding complex vocabulary, eliminating adverbs, focus on statements, humanizing compared to Hemingway, the focus shift towards the connection that you make with the reader and clarity as opposed to brevity. So they di they differ in tone and warmth. Hemingway is clear and direct. Humanized leans towards warmer and friendlier. Engaging thought relatability. Humanizing content often involves storytelling, empathy, and shared experiences, while Hemingway style just keeps things factual and direct. So they're different purposes as you use those. Flow and variation, use of humor and casual language. And then you can see some examples here of how it would work. So if we were discussing the concept like effective time management, Hemingway rules might create something like time management is essential, identify priorities and avoid distractions, use tools to track progress and keep focus, aim to complete high impact tasks early in the day. Very simple, very straightforward, not any fluff whatsoever. That's Hemingway rules. We could say that same with humanized and now we're going to get time management can feel like a juggling act. Ever find yourself overwhelmed with too many tasks and too little time? Start by identifying your key priorities and keeping distractions at bay. Try using simple tools to track progress. It's all about building habits that make your day smoother step by step. I think you can see right there, there's a really good comparison 
between the two. And I'd encourage you guys to explore both, but I want to share the humanized com command with you because while it's not an official ChatGPT or Claude command, it is a concept that both of those understand and it will dramatically change the way that your content is written and in my mind, make it much, much more relevant. The last tip for you, if you're going to use humanize, don't hesitate to specify your audience. So in other words, uh, please let's do this. So please, uh, create, um, let's do this. Please discuss the concept of AI intelligence. And I can't type and talk at the same time or AGI first use Hemingway rules. then use humanize. You don't have to capitalize it. That's me. The target audience for both is people who are fearful that AI will take over. And I'll leave it with one plane. I want to focus on how AI amplifies skill and knowledge and needs us as humans for direction. All right. So really simple command there. Let's see what happens. So Hemingway rules, AI amplifies our skills. It's a powerful tool that extends human capabilities, but AI lacks creativity, emotions, and intuition qualities only, only humans can bring. Think of AI as a calculator for complex tasks. It follows rules, but doesn't understand meeting. AGI or artificial general intelligence would theoretically act like a human, but we're not there yet. Current AI systems need our input and direction. They can't think or feel on their own. We design them in, to enhance, not replace human work. By giving AI tasks that demand speed and processing or, or processing, we free up time for ourselves and focus on creativity and problem solving. It's a replacement or it isn't a replacement, it's an amplifier. With AI, we work faster and smarter, but AI relies on us to set goals and judge results. We are the decision makers. Now that's not bad, I must admit, that makes it pretty easy to understand. Now let's check that exact same command, but this time humanized. Artificial intelligence or AI can sound a bit intimidating, especially when you imagine it as something that it could take over. But here's the real story. AI isn't here to replace us, it's here to amplify what we already do well. Imagine AI as a supercharged assistant, thinking of having an extra set of hands or maybe a second brain to handle tasks that are time consuming or data heavy. Need to analyze thousands of data points or generate content quickly? AI can do that in seconds, giving you more time to focus on creativity, problem solving, and the work that requires a human touch. Now let's talk about AGI or artificial general intelligence, the kind of AI you might see in sci-fi movies acting like a real person. We're far from that reality. Today, AI doesn't have feelings, creativity, or intuition. It follows the rules we set. In fact, it needs human input at every stage. Think of AI as a precision tool. You're still the craftsman guiding it, telling it what to do and checking if it's done right. AI's true power is how it works with us, not instead of us. With AI amplifying our skills, we can work smarter, take on bigger challenges, and stay focused on what makes us uniquely human. Hopefully you can see there the difference between Hemingway rules and humanize and why it is for a lot of content, especially video scripts, by the way, I really recommend we take a look at humanize. Try it out. Let me know how it works for you. I'd love to see your comments below. Thanks and make it a great day.